you were a kid, you did the, the toothbrush. Uh -huh. It's pretty much that. And it actually will run and do its own little thing. So when you're putting it on the paint, it's gonna, it's gonna still move around on you. And, uh, I like, like that look. <laughs> but yeah. <laughs> you look at our floor and our clothes. And <laughs> we'll have furniture. furniture to paint, and she's like, "How did this get over here?" <laughs> it's just it flames everywhere. It's supposed to be most of the time, making a mess. Can you tell us again what you cover the paint with when you're finished? Uh, when I first started doing these, I used to uh, spray clear spray on them. Now I'm using a lacquer oil base, where I'm coating it with a either a sponge brush or a paintbrush. I, uh, it's kind of funny about paintbrushes because sometimes I'll leave a hair in it and I'm just yeah. <laughs> stay in the hair and paintbrush. So the sponge brushes are great, but they're not going to last a long time. So, what brand do you like? Oh, Minwax. Minwax. So how do you keep it light enough that it doesn't erase the paint that you just put on it? It's, you, you have to flow it on, but if you're going to spray it too, you're going to spray it uh, probably at least three times. You know, you're going to spray it and then come back, spray it again. And I tell people to spray it if they're not going to do like tons of these. I missed the question. What was the, the answer was Minwax. What was the question? It's an oil-based product. Okay. But then okay. again, you get, you're getting a lot of places that won't sell oil-based products now. They will sell a water-based product. But you're mainly wanting to uh, seal it so it's not going to scrape off. Or, you know. I'm a fan of the poly acrylics too. That's a really nice finish. Okay. And, uh, you can use satin. And the only time I like satin is if you're going to hang it somewhere where it's going to create a big glare. But the reason I went with the gloss is because it looks like glass. See, these are these have already sealed. As today, you're probably smelling a little bit of it. <laughs> See, that looks like glass. <laughs> Where's your this is, of that this is what now? It's a lacquer, like an old one. Did you put copper on that one? Yes, ma'am. You can see a little bit of it in here and you can close it. Okay. There's some in there. Yeah. I usually use like uh, highlights. You don't put the lacquer on the clear black part. Sometimes the back looks just as good as the front. Oh, yeah. Sir? When you get this glass and everything, do you get the striations of whatever the, the brush gave you to mm -hmm. the finish? Yeah, I have a little technique too, like Abel says, where I'm doing this. I will actually do that with my oil base and it will create bubbles. And so if it's a fish, he's got bubbles. If it's a turtle, they got bubbles. <laughs> and a lot of people will think it's old glass. It is old glass, but it makes it look older. Yeah. That's right. So what, what color will you paint that plane? Yeah. This one? Mm -hmm. I'm gonna leave it. All right. <clears throat> yeah, she's gonna make me paint this one blue. And if somebody wants to paint themselves, they could. We don't this, recommend it, it's very dangerous. This is a really nice frame though. You can feel the weight is hard pine, so that, that pine is really probably 100 years old. 